Hi, my name is Ashley Gilbert and it's my pleasure to be speaking to you today about our planned upcoming Hickory One Exploration Well, located in the Project Phoenix Acreage on the North Slope of Alaska. This video will provide investors with a brief snapshot of our Project Phoenix Acreage, outline the extensive body of work completed over the acreage, and the resulting extensive data suite accumulated, which has now led to the identification of the drilling location for the upcoming Hickory One Well, which is targeting a net mean prospective resource of 647 million barrels of oil. As investors would have noted in our December 2022 announcement, the Icewind East area has been renamed to Project Phoenix to reflect the company's refreshed exploration strategy for this acreage. Since the initial acquisition of the leases in 2014, the acreage originally targeted the unconventional HRZ play. Project Phoenix is now focused on the proven all bearing conventional reservoirs that were identified during the drilling and logging of Ice Wine 1 and 2, and more recently that were flow tested by Panthium Resources on adjacent acreage. Importantly, Project Phoenix is strategically located on the Dalton Highway, with a Trans Alaska pipe system running through the acreage. I'll now hand over to Alistair Caird and Rob Benkovic to take you through the next series of slides on Project Phoenix, the Hickory Wine Exploration Well, and our future plans on success. Hi, I'm Alistair Caird and I'm here to take you through the upcoming Hickory One justification and objectives. Hickory One is designed to test six stack targets across four separate play types. The three primary targets are in the SMD reservoir, while the secondary targets are in the SFS and BFF reservoirs. Importantly, one of the primary targets and both secondary targets have flowed oil in wells immediately to the north by Pantheon in 2021 and 2022. Ice Wine 1, which was drilled on block by 88 Energy in 2015 and designed to test the deep and unconventional HRZ plate, noted streaming cuts and oil odour in the SMD as well as oil shows in the SFS and BFF reservoirs. In early 2022, 88 Energy acquired the modern Franklin Bluffs 3D seismic, which both served to validate the 2D mapping of Project Phoenix as well as perform amplitude versus offset analysis or AVO. Here we can see the AVO fluid factor results of the SMD reservoirs across the Phoenix acreage, which extend north into the neighbouring acreage position. You'll notice the distinct trend in warmer colours, which represent either an increase in pore volume and or hydrocarbon filled pore space. You'll also note that the 2021 Talitha A well was drilled on the fringes of the anomaly and that the recently permitted Talitha B well represents a move toward our proposed Hickory 1 well and toward the long axis of the main AVO body. Hickory 1 is set to spud in Q1 of 2023 and will be split into two phases. The first being the drilling and logging of the borehole, while the second phase will focus on the production tests of any identified hydrocarbon bearing formations. Splitting the program into two phases maximizes our ability to design and optimize the Hickory 1 flow test. I'll now pass you on to Rob, who will take you through the Phoenix development plan. Thanks Alistair. One of the biggest advantages the Phoenix acreage has over many other parts of Alaska is its proximity to significant infrastructure. The Transit Alaska Pipeline passes right through the middle of the acreage from north to south. Additionally, the Dalton Highway runs adjacent to TAPS and provides easy access to the main town servicing the North Slope, which is Dead Horse. This infrastructure provides many benefits, which ultimately significantly reduces costs and time to first oil. If Hickory 1 is successful, we plan to expedite the drilling of a pilot development well, which is likely to be a long horizontal well with multi-stage fracks, which will maximise oil rates. Project Phoenix's proximity to infrastructure allows for any future development to occur in a scalable and phased manner, thus minimising initial capital investment and project risk. Now I'd like to hand back to Ashley for some concluding remarks. Thank you for joining us today on our brief journey through our planned exploration activities at the strategically located Project Phoenix Acreage. We look forward to keeping you up to date as we progress towards the spudding of the Hickory One exploration well.